Hey guys, Mopi here and welcome to a game called uh, English. Not called English, called the uh, Guild Parade. Hi. Guilty Parade. Uh, this is a game I found on Game Jolt and it's supposed to be like a visual novel with point and click stuff and um, it's it said something like experience the two sides of the war or something like that. Please bear it for a little longer. It will be all over soon. Just a little longer. I hear stuff. Everything is going to change. A new world is waiting for the humanity. You'll see soon a new state of evolution shall come. You and I will be there, so see it. To see it? Maybe this is... I think this game was uh, made in Russia or from some country with the Azbuka. Ha 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 Everything looked blurry. I could hardly avoid bumping into trees. A bare, an absolutely bare pine forest. There was nowhere to hide. There you would find me. Ha ha! With each step, it was harder and harder to breathe. And if my feet were going, if as if my feet were getting heavier, where, where should I run? Ha ha! I stumbled over a branch lying on the ground and fell down with a loud butt. Damn it. Damn it. Hello? Um, I'm opening my eyes. I see the sky. Grey and cloudy sky spreads in front of me. A cold drop fell in my eye and made me close my eyes tight. Where was I? How did I get here? My head felt heavy and I could feel pain growing stronger inside of it. It was hard to think straight. I tried to move, but I couldn't control my body. Raindrops started hitting my face harder and along with the noise of the upcoming storm. I could hear human voices nearby. I closed my eyes again, once again, and tried to focus. Suddenly something ice cold touched my cheek. The woke figures were leaning over me and started discussing lo something loudly. Do you know this guy? Maybe he is a fugitive or a spy. It seemed that I had reached my destination. Where blacking out, I blurred out something I shouldn't have. Could I finally make it this time? interesting hey the voice sounded as if it's coming from the bottom of the ocean through closed eyelashes i could make out a person uh, in a uniform but i felt too weak to take a closer look all of a sudden ice cold water poured over my me leaving me wet from head to toe and quickly bringing me back to my senses don't pretend to be deaf i opened my eyes and forced to narrow my eyelids right away the blinding light from the lamp was smitting light into my face and wouldn't let me get a good look of, at anything but a lad in uniform. uniform. The gaze of absolute black eyes rooted me to the spot for a moment. Oh, black eyes, nice. Oh, hello. He was studying me with a mixture of interest and resentment while completely blocking my view with his body so it seemed like there was no one else around, just the two of us. I wanted to move away from him, but I couldn't. Are my hands tied? I'd like to Okay, interrogation. What is going on? Where am I? I looked around. Is it me? No, those are the other guys. Okay. <laughs> there were four other people in military uniform. Is that a military uniform, really? They were staring at me with tense silence. To my left stood a plump guy who had a joyful smile on his face. Drops of water in the empty bucket and his hands were still shining brightly. Next to him stood an angry girl. I was about to open my mouth but I couldn't say anything till the end. It was hard for me to concentrate. It seemed that I would start panicking at any moment because I couldn't understand what was going on at all. 
What kind of obscure room is this? Where am I? Who are these people? Chains, iron creepers, and sharp hooks were hanging from everywhere. There was burning plaster debris lying on the floor. I started breathing heavily. I got really scared because of a feeling of complete emptiness in my head. I couldn't remember anything, anything at all. My heart was pounding in frenzy. Who are they? Who am I? God damn it! In the corner of the room, a tall young man was intentionally writing down something. He wasn't even looking in my direction. But he is kind of looking in my direction. I couldn't make out more than uh, that uh, slender, that this, as a slender hand of this soldier in front of me pressed me into the chair. Who are you? Wait, some voice. Who are you? No, that's not his voice. Who are you? And what are what are sniffing around here for? Who am I? That was a question I couldn't even answer myself. The soldier was patient and didn't say a word while I was gaping, gaping silently. Who am I? How did I get here? I don't know. I can't remember a thing. With a new vigor, fear paralyzed my mind and body. I wasn't afraid of the people around me, I was afraid of myself. I was afraid of the oblivion of, and the lack of any memories about it on my own life. Plum guy. Seems like he won't start talking so easily. Some more cold water, perhaps? Wait, he still hasn't got her back to his senses. For a moment, the soldier took his eyes of me and glanced at his comrade. Only at the moment I could take a deep breath without feeling their heart looks at me. Who are you? He was persistent and it seemed like he could see right into my soul with his black eyes. That scared me even more and even though I had nothing to hide, my intuition told me, told me to not give away my feelings. What is the purpose of your visit? I didn't answer. Where are you from? The soldier slapped me hard <laughs> with all his strength, which made my head spin to the side. How long do you plan to give us this silent treatment? He is not going to talk. Perhaps some more water will help after all? The plump guy lets his bucket and starts shi shining in the light of the lamp even brighter. The girl who kept silent, was keeping silent this whole time, showed me in my soldier with all her might. Shoved me. Answer who you are, immediately. You are not mute after all. Or would you like to test some harder interrogation techniques on yourself? She showed uh, an iron tool in her, in her hand, which she had brought with her. I'd never seen it before, so I couldn't understand what it was for. Seemed like the girl understood that was this was the case, so she smirked. Oh, I didn't read the last one, girl. I'll show you how to use this. Uh, okay, she made step forward to me. Safe. Uh, settings. Okay, here we go. Uh, history. History. Oh, wait. Uh. Seems like a good answer that I was. Oh! Despite her readiness to use brutal force, I continue to keep silent. Go. What should I tell them? I don't remember anything, but they are not likely to believe that. I don't even understand where, my, where am I and what's going on. You are going to be tortured. What should I do? Well, are you. Well, are you going to talk or not? So, ah, where am I? Who are you? I don't remember anything. Let's, let's, let's go with the honesty. I like these guys. They will sure uh, understand the honesty. I don't remember. He's lying! Right after I closed my mouth, Ruff poked me with her pointy finger. Those are just some stupid excuses. No one is going to believe such nonsense when we are at war. 
Perhaps he is shell shocked. Ruf, Ruf is right. You don't remember what he said when we found him, don't you? Could I fi finally make make it this time? Did I say something like that? It can't be. I don't remember anything like that at all. That's right, Wolfgang. Remind uh, us what happened. How it happened. Wolfgang Graf. Oh, he's, he's Wolfgang. The soldier who was persistently writing down something through our conversation looked up from his notebook. I better remember, remember Wolfgang, Wolfgang's name too. He quickly started wrestling through the pages and then burrowed his face into his notes once again. I didn't sleep um, I didn't sleep well that night must have been the beans in the meat sauce that have a bad effect on my stomach. Yeah, that's the information we all needed. Not that tell us about the moment when we find this found this guy. Wolfgang looked up from his notebook and gazed at Ruth with a slight hint of irritation and then he burrowed face in his notes again. I could hear the sound of Beijing turning. I saw a missile flash over my head. The sky was dark and the rain full of loneliness and sorrow. Just like my mood at the, that dreadful moment of my life was about to pour from the heavy clouds at the moment. The battlefield was marked all over with corpses of the fallen who were fighting for what was right. However, neither of the aggrieved parties wanted to throw in the towel. Wait, wait, wait. Do you really write, uh, write it down like that? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Just quickly approach Morgan and swift the snatches don't look from his grasp. And she looked through it uh, with and with a sour and frustrated frustrated expression on her face, she gave it back to its owner. Wolfgang tightly pressed the diary to his chest and turned away. <laughs> oh, the crying shame! I like it actually. It's uh, so exuber exuberant that your mind starts drawing the scene out of it right away. Um, the, uh, there was a quiet sound of someone clearing his throat. Another person in uniform was reminding uh, everyone about his presence. The interrogator touched his forehead with the tips of his fingers. Wolfgang, continue reading. He's so stressed. Wolfgang was still standing with his back to us. He nodded feebly and continued straining with his knives. Amidst the whole, amidst the whole outrage, Raph put her arms around Helga's waist and drew her close, trying to hide the most precious person from the merciless bullets. Oh, there's Helga, okay. What? When did I do that, huh? Please, continue. Wolfgang looked over his shoulder uh, for a moment and then continued reading while hunch hunching his back even more. Why do you read it word by word if you don't want others to like hear it? Soon the field of death got empty and our small squad was counting the losses. Come here quickly, shouted Doris. We rapidly dashed towards her and she pointed at one of the wounded who was wearing our uniform. Who is that? We asked in astonishment as we had never met that person who was helplessly spread on the ground in front of our, of our eyes. He's not from our unit, noted Yakov. But there were... Then where did he come from? He shouldn't be here. Perhaps he's... Perhaps he's pal. Rup happily wrapped her hands and at those words. He is still alive, which means he might be able to tell us something interesting. Shall we touch on him, Yakov? She playfully showed him with shoved him with her elbow. However, Yakov did not share her enthusiasm. Focused he focused 
he got down to the suspicious person we found and checked his pulse for a few minutes we were making assumptions but at some point we, the injured slightly opened his eyes and looked into the endless sky heavy with clouds suddenly his lips moved and Yakov drew his sound sensitive ear to his mouth and attentively had it he did his words could I finally make it this time? whispered the stranger as if dangerous and then as the delirious may I save this? Oh, I can save this now great uh, and then closed his eyelids and sank deeper into the back, black abyss of unconsciousness Wolfgang well fell quiet and in a few seconds the whole room sank into silence. I don't know if it's really like a good thing that I said that stuff. Well what a story, Mr. Spy. What will you say to that? I remained silent. I didn't remember any of that. I didn't re didn't remember any anything at all. As my life had started only a few minutes ago. That whole story was about someone else. I don't remember that. Some water, perhaps? Yeah, do that. It should help him get his memory back. Oh, great. At the very same moment, ice water poured all over my body. My teeth started ch chattering from the cold, and my skin got covered in goosebumps. Well, Mr. Nemo, would you prefer more brutal interrogation? How did you learn his name? Are you serious, Oliver? Do you not know what the Latin word Nemo means? I thought it's a common concept. It was still hard for me to grasp what was going on, but nobody wanted to believe that. Hey, you, Nemo! Are you going to talk? I looked at Ruff. Ruff? 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 I like Ruff. Uh, I think it's better to confess perhaps they shouldn't they could help me somehow. I think I have amnesia. I think I thought people with uh, I thought people with, uh, with amnesia can talk, can they? Does it really work that way? Okay, and I think we should end this episode right here. I'm gonna save this again. Just to be sure. Okay. We saved the game. Uh, let's hope this saving process works. Uh, let me know in the comments if I should continue or not. I'm actually really interested about it, but I don't know how interesting it's uh, like the video for you. I like this game a lot so far. Uh, the graphics are very nice. The music is very nice. It's really spy like and turu turu. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, love you. Bye bye. I'm gonna be forever! Yeah. I'm watering, watering, watering. Is it new really or different? Oh, now I'm watering the tree! Right? Is that Mr. Midnight? I thought it would be something very horrible! <laughs>